Hey, NES Evolution here, Josh, doing a retro pickup today. Um, gonna start with some loose figures here. Got 80s and 90s figures here. Mainly 90s, I'm pretty sure. I don't think this is 80s. Whoa. But uh, first one I have is Beetle, a Beetlejuice figure from the Beetlejuice line. I did have these as a kid. Um, I have two of them uh, right now. And this guy does this feature. Ah! <laughs> Looks like he went swimming or something. <laughs> he's got, I mean, he's got a lobster right here. So yeah, looks like he's been in the water for a while. Uh, next up is um, from Darkwing Duck. And I cannot remember this guy's name right now. What's it called? Green. Oh man, can't remember. But he's actually a harder guy to find for Darkwing Duck. I think I have all of, I think I have the entire collection of Darkwing Duck now, besides like his, the kids or whatever. So, yeah, he's actually a harder guy to find. I did have him as a kid. That's why I wanted him. And uh, he does this special feature. There's a little lever on his back. And that grows, as you see. But I cannot remember this guy's name for the life of me. I should have looked it up. But I did not. So, but yeah, pretty cool. Darkwing Duck. Like I said, I remember, must have been a birthday or something, but I got like some money. I don't know how much, like maybe whatever. But I remember went to my mom or my grandma, can't remember who, took me to Toys R Us and said, okay, you can spend your money or whatever. So I went there and I was just looking around. I think I was probably looking at the turtles. I was probably looking at, like, some other stuff from the early 90s. And then I stumbled upon Darkwing Duck figures because I was a big fan of the cartoon. So I was like, holy crap, there's figures for Darkwing Duck? Okay. So I went ahead and grabbed a bunch of Darkwing Duck figures. Uh, Megavolt, uh, Darkwing Duck, um, Launchpad, him. I mean, I think I grabbed almost every single one of them besides the two... Darkwing Ducks to night niece and nephew or whoever that is. Um, so yeah, grab pretty much all of the figures I could with the money I had. So um, next up is a Venom figure that I had when I was a kid and I, and I didn't remember that I had him until I saw it. So, and that's deep sea, pretty cool. It's called, pretty sure it's called deep sea Venom, but as you can see here, he's really cool. His arm is actually like a, like a fish head, like a piranha. Look at that, it's got, I always thought that was cool when I was a kid, I remember that, like one tooth for whatever reason is really huge there. I don't know why, um, but yeah, so, and he's got, yeah, basically like a venom head, but his arm, so, and as you can see, his venom head right here, his mouth opens, scales are pretty monstrosity monstrosity his arm is cool i mean his claws they're uh you know got i can't remember what that's called right now but where you can swim easier because you have webbed hands i guess yeah uh but yeah really like it awesome like i said i did have this as a kid in probably the mid 90s and i love the figure must have sold it when I was a kid, but yeah. So I was like, I gotta have that on my shelf. So I will. Next up is in the last, well, maybe not last. I think I'll show something else. But for figures, my last one, um, I have, we well, can't see it, but it's over here. And I have, um, I guess I could, sh I just probably just show you. Why not? Who cares, right? Um, right here, as you guys can see, I have DC and Batman return figures. So I don't know if you could see that, all of them, but, um, yeah. So there was one I was missing. Um, I have Batman, I mean, not one, I mean, but one that I really wanted. I have Robin, ba uh, Power Ring, 
Power Wing Batman, Catwoman, Penguin Commandos, which are kind of harder to get. Bruce Wayne, like where it's just Bruce Wayne, you can put a Batman suit on. And so I went ahead and picked up the harder figure to get too, which is the Penguin, which if you notice, looks nothing like Penguin from Batman Returns, because that's what this figure line is from. And it's from a store called Lionel, and it was uh, $5.99 at Lionel. I don't know what Lionel is, didn't have one around here, as far as I know. But Blast Off Umbrella Launcher, um, basically it is the, super, the, the DC Comics superhero line, Penguin, repainted. That's what it is. Um, and you see, like I said, it looks nothing like Batman Returns. Uh, the people making the toys and stuff thought that, that, that the Penguin was too scary and that kids wouldn't want him as a toy. So they re-released this one and brought this penguin out, which, like I said, is an injustice. They should have brought out the original, but I get what they were going for. Um, and then I always loved on the back, always looking at all the figures I could have. I loved that as a kid. Um, after I opened it, I usually kept the back. Um, not every single one, but some. And I would always read like what each figure came with. And I would look and be like, oh, I want this one or circle it. Um, I would never really buy vehicles. I never was into vehicles much. Play sets, never really had those. Just mainly the figures is what I needed. So, but yeah, that's, I always love that about the back of action figure cards of the 80s and the 90s. So, but yeah, that's the Penguin. So, excited to put this one on the wall over here in my collection. So, and uh, that is it. Okay, guys, talk to you later. Bye.